Peace, Planet Rock. I'm Edder. You may know me as Edder. I represent the Bronx Boys Rocking Crew. I represent X Vandals Crew NYC. I also get down for IKS. Ika Siempre. Yo, I'm here today to speak to you guys about uh, really foundation and how uh, fabrication came, came to be and how. Uh, you know, it's, it's evolving into something that it's going to be. The idea behind the fabrication yard was to allow for all four elements to flourish, all four elements to grow. DJing, graffiti writing, style writing, MCing, b-boying. Um, and so it's, uh, it's, it's an idea that we have been able to, to actually project onto the city and let them know that we are definitely here and we ain't going nowhere. We here at the fabrication yard would love to express the fact that we want you to come paint, we want you to come keep this place live, but it has to level up. You have to evolve, you have to, you know, as, as the saying goes, you gotta stay rocking. You gotta let it flourish. There's definitely an outline on what we should follow as far as respecting each other's art. The rules set for the art would be just like it would be in the street. Productions go over burners, burners go over pieces, pieces go over bombs, throwies, and uh, throwies go over tags. Not the other way around. You gotta respect the art level. Uh, if you can't rock it, get better. There's plenty of spots for you to get better and actually rock the walls or the fencing. These walls were meant for productions, you know, like um, throwies and stuff, and tags and stuff could be on the fence, but this, these walls are normally meant for productions and, you know, burners and stuff like that. Pieces and throwers can go elsewhere, but uh, um, it's intended to, to, to help you get better, to help you rock more, to help you advance, you know. Um, yeah, for the most part, that's what we'd like to see everywhere, you know, even on the fences, like people just burning these fences down in a, in a graph form of matter, not literally burning them down with, you know, fire. But fire pieces and fire, you know, graffiti. Um, we're just having issues with it all because most of these youngsters pick up a can from out here and just go over anything. Which, in reality, you can do that, but it's on the metal buildings that we just pass by, you know. That's where you're supposed to actually just uh, do whatever. But as far as these walls go, like these walls and the main wall and uh, some of the other walls that are, are inside, those are meant for, you know, upscale. They're supposed to be respected, but you see what happens. The importance of this place is for everybody to rock on a proper level. To grow and to have direction, we have to allow for people that are at a higher level. Um, we have to let them express themselves and, and, and respect their art. We have to allow for the skilled artists to be shown and known. Um, the scribbles and, 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 and the tags should level up should get better and there's a, a definitely designated spot for them. But right here. I can go over her face. You know, that's that's how you do that. I mean her stuff is this already, but I'm not gonna go over her stuff. Tags over everything. We don't want that. What we want 
is to pe for people to actually know and acknowledge the fact that we have skill and fire. We have official writers, we have official artists to get down uh, and represent for the city. Represent for Texas, I mean, let's get it, you know what I'm saying? It's what, we, what we're here to do, to level up. So that Dallas can come together and rock on, a, on an advanced level, you know, on a level to where you put us on the map. And um, we're doing it for the most part. We got other people coming out here. Uh, shout out to uh, Mears One at uh, Five Points for coming out here and blessing the spot. Years back, he came out and did some really cool stuff. Um, we've, got, we've had other other cats come out. Uh, uh, right from Germany has come out. We've had cats from Turkey come out. Blaze, um, he's, he's definitely blessed the spot out here. Um, for the most part, again, it's uh, it's us just trying to trying to do better, trying to get better, and actually doing this, you know, so that so that we can level up Dallas, you know, so we can we can all uh, rock nice. that will happen one day um, soon because uh, it could be better. Things could be better here. No tags over people's stuff. The artwork level needs to be respected. If you do tags, if you do throwies, if you do rollers even, try to keep that over to the buildings where the productions aren't, you know, and show the respect that it needs to, that that's due. The fabrication yard is definitely open to you at uh, any park hour that is available from uh, midnight to 5 a.m. is when it closes. If you were caught here, that's at your own risk. Um, you should never pay to get into the fabrication yard. It's free. It's free for anybody to enjoy, uh, photographers included, and uh, videographers also. We don't want to leave anybody out. Um, we feel that it's a safe place for your children to come paint. We're, we're, we're open to family gatherings. We're open for things as far as painting goes. And uh, it's important for everybody to realize that this place is for that. We, we allow for the painting to go on. It just has to be in a respectful manner. We here at the Fabrication Yard want to thank everybody that's taken advantage of it um, as far as putting their art up and letting their art be known. We have had several artists that have advanced onto the city of Dallas and gotten many well, well painted commissions and, and it's uh, it's, it's humbling to see the city grow. We don't need anything at all but you to get better in your craft. That's it. The spot has been set. The venue is here. It's a free creative space for Texas, the planet, universe to use. And we are with open arms inviting you and anybody you know with that mentality an open spot. Um, I'd like to talk about Go Paint Day a little, which is a jam that we have yearly. I'm also one of the conductors to that and uh, coordinate that with two other people, Nor One and Sandra Price. Very, very well-rounded people that have helped, done nothing but help the Fabrication Yard out. Um, and we, we really appreciate everything that they've done um, since day one. And this means from city council meetings to actually coordinating events here as far as painting goes. Um, we don't uh, charge for anybody to paint here. We don't uh, ask anybody other than to clean up after you're done, don't leave cans around, and have fun. Overall, just have fun. I would love to give a special shout out to Butch McGregor for allowing us to use this space as we have, and we respectfully um, want to give him the utmost level of gratitude that we have for him and his his establishment. Uh, we can't thank him enough for it all and um, there's not much I can I can say as far as putting it in putting it in words of how thankful we are for him allowing us to have overall um, above everything I would like to uh, remind everybody to stay rocking. Never stop. Once you started, the worst thing you can do is stop. Maintain that rock. Peace.